All right, the two reds that we kept are going to be tonight's dinner. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is a grilled, like Southwest style redfish filet. And that's gonna go over a bed of linguine uh, topped with a cilantro lime avocado sauce. I got some cilantro. We'll rinse this off really fast. We got sweet onion. Uh, four avocados, three limes, and jalapeno just for a nice kick. That's going to be the sauce right there. The onion is actually going to be going on the redfish on the half shell. So in case you're wondering, uh, whipping cream, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going like really off the cuff with this one. I don't have, I don't have a recipe, but uh, We'll get the water boiling for that. We'll chop everything up. Uh, we need to get our redfish. Okay. Here we are. Look at these beauties. Look at that. Two nice sized 23 inch reds. Ooh. Bled and ready to go. So we'll fillet one of these guys off. And uh, the other one, we're just going to dress it up. Clean this fillet up right here. We'll take the bones out, make it boneless. There we go. And then you got some pin bones in here, which I've never really learned the anatomy of a redfish to be able to make sure that my fillet doesn't have that. But I mean, we're grilling this, so it should be easy to pick those out. We're going to portion it and then we'll remove all of the bloodline that is still there. It's a good portion size right there. There's no trick to this right here, aside of just cleaning it up. That's it. I'm just trying to go right below that. There we go, look at that. Get all of that off. If you like the fishiness uh, flavor of the reds, well then just leave that on because that will definitely give you that fishy flavor. However, I always bleed them because I don't like that flavor. Uh, I prefer my fish to not taste fishy. Go figure, huh? For our marinade, we're going to take approximately one cup of water, right about there. There we are. About a half to three quarters of a teaspoon liquid smoke. That's so that if the charcoal doesn't get this good enough, we're gonna have that grilled, that nice smoky grilled flavor to the fish. Now fish, uh, it marinades and it absorbs flavor really quick, so you don't wanna overpower it with this stuff. Then you'll take about two tablespoons of your favorite seasoning. Since this is like a Southwest thing, uh, I'm gonna put two to three tablespoons of seasoning. Let's see what that's going to look like. Man, that liquid smoke smells delicious. This is nothing more than just fajita seasoning. And we'll let this sit for about five to ten minutes. Uh, no need to refrigerate being that it is already cold and just came out of the refrigerator. We're just gonna let him sit there and marinate. Okay, that is done. Let's go get the fire on the grill started. A bushel of cilantro. And I don't know, that should probably be like maybe half of it. So we'll put that inside here. Okay. That should be good enough right there. And then we're gonna do this to taste. So I, I honestly don't know how much cilantro to put in there. It's gonna be my first time doing this style of a sauce. So, got our limes. Here we go. We'll throw a little bit, maybe half of the cilantro inside here. We'll save a little bit for later in case the flavor is not strong enough. 
We'll juice one lime to start with. Get our avocados, put them inside there. Let's rinse our jalapeno off. Throw just a little bit inside there. I don't want it too spicy. That, 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 and that. Okay, so the, I'm just guessing. Okay, in order to make this a little bit viscous so that our processor will be able to blend it together, we're gonna add a little bit of the whipping cream right now. You don't need to put all of that in there. I just want to make sure that this is going to blend thoroughly together. Let's give it a taste. It's gonna need more cilantro. Get some more cilantro. Okay. Okay, good. We need more lime flavor, huh? Yeah. It needed some, huh? A little bit of salt. There we go, taste test. It's good now, it's good. So let's get the linguine on. I don't know too much about the culinary arts, but I do know that butter is a great emulsifier. So we got one pad inside there, it's melting down. We'll add these slowly as it heats up. And then we're gonna put some of our avocado sauce inside there to warm it up. I'm not going to use it all, but uh, we'll add it for uh, taste and flavor. <laughs> Linguini is just about done. We got about a couple more minutes. Cream is nice and heated up. All right. <laughs> I'm not too sure about this but we'll start throwing everything that we can into this until it starts to taste good. It may be one of those very odd flavors that you just don't know about. All right, here we go. Very bland. Here's what we're gonna do. Throw some onion powder inside there because that's what it's missing. The onion that I had, well, that thing wasn't good. Shame on HEB for selling me a jacked up onion. And then we'll throw a little bit of garlic in there as well. All right, now here goes the taste test. Yeah, that's good right there. Oh, that is really good. Final step is to place our fish, marinated fish fillets on the grill. So after the fish fillets went on, we put our timer for three minutes. We've got about a minute and a half still to go. We'll go flip it and that's it. We should be able to plate everything. All right, time to go flip. Looks like they could have used a little bit longer. We'll let this side go a tad bit longer than what we originally put them on for. Fish. Oh, there it is. I was going to say fish is almost done. Let's go ahead and get us some linguine. This should be done now. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm, nice and juicy. That looks really delicious. I mean, look at that. Take some sauce. Get a little bit of that over the linguine. Get our redfish filet. Right on top of it. And then, just get a little bit more sauce over the filet itself. This is as quick a meal as I can possibly do. Uh, never did this before, so here's the first thoughts on like a Southwest styled grilled redfish over a plate of linguine with a cilantro lime avocado sauce. Got a like bunch of weird combination of flavors going on right here. All right, I don't know what to think about the redfish itself. 
it could have used a bit more seasoning, like maybe three to four tablespoons. The fish is cooked to perfection. It's definitely really good, moist. Uh, the grill did not dry it out. It could have used a little bit of salt. The cilantro uh, sauce definitely helps it out. Okay, I'm not gonna rave about it <laughs> because uh, it's just, it's a weird, weird flavor. The linguine with the sauce, the sauce by itself tastes really good, but the linguine, I don't know, You, I guess you would think of something like Alfredo sauce with it or some type of pasta sauce. Uh, like a, a marinara, some Italian type thing. Uh, I don't think the combination goes together, so unless you're adventurous and you wanna see what this is gonna taste like, then by all means, uh, go ahead and try and replicate what I did, but it's definitely gonna need a little bit more salt. I will eat it because it's palatable, but I'm not gonna rave about it. Just one of those cook videos that went wrong with the ingredients that I used. It just got too many different flavors going on with it. The marinade and then the sauce itself with the linguine. The sauce originally was made for the linguine, but they don't work well with each other, if that makes any sense. Yeah. I think you can just skip the linguine altogether, and it would probably be just fine. So that's all I have for y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me that thumbs up for at least giving y'all some effort. I could pretend and rave that, oh, this is awesome, it but it is not. Uh, from a scale to one to 10, I'm going to give it about like a four, maybe four and a half, four and a quarter. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, until next time, tight lines. Not bad. It could be better. So check this out. That's why we did the other one, redfish on the half shell, because that is a trusty backup, and that is a crowd pleaser for sure.